think about something Tim over at Brad and Jeff go through when you want to play Tim Boyd and Brad. And I know the story, it's familiar with all of us, but as one of us, one of you, this is our pastor and our leader, thank you most down there on the hillside. We talked about Aaron and her. And I'm going to tell you something. There will be things that goes through a pastor's life and in his mind that we'll never know about. But I you brother go over and raise your dog. Things that he needs. He needs to know one thing. And I'm going to tell you this morning, Brother Jeff, and I'm going to call on you two. And not that you'll do what I say, I just know you'll do it. So come up here just a minute. Let me have to tell us. I'm going to tell you, this is what we saw when Moses was on the hillside and his arms grew weak. He was going to leave with those two men, one on each side. Come on here. When his arms grew weak, they held him up. Hold him up there. When he grew weak, they sustained his arm. And I know, Brother Mitchell, you'd stand right there and hold that arm. Brother Sean, I could have chosen him. But I'm telling you right now, I need him to know that I've got your arm. Amen. We got your arm. I'm going to tell you something. I know that we, we play the role of a trustee or gatekeeper and all that. That ain't why we hold his arm, is it? No, it's because he's our pastor. He is my brother, but he's my pastor, and we are backing. Amen. We're behind him. He's leading, and I feel like he's going in the right direction. Yes, I support him. Yeah. And I know that it just doesn't need to be a man. The ladies will do the same, but it's symbolic that Tim is all of us. They trust you. We believe in you because you believe in the right God. Amen. We're following you, and we're holding up your arms when they grow weak. And I'm going to tell you something. I ain't wanting to get too physical unless I have to. Well, we'll fight for you too, please be. Yeah, that's right. We got his back physically and spiritually. And I'm telling you this morning, I love him. And I'm going to tell you another one. Come here, Brother Gordon. Back it up here. Here's another one. His arms grow weak from time to time. Brother Greg, grab those arms. It ain't just him. It's also him. Y'all got his arms when he needs them? You mean it? You mean it, Brother Jeff? You get Brother Gordon? Yes, sir. I'm going to tell you right now, sometimes that's where we need to be. Right. Right. Can't always be Him. Right. Can't always be Him. And I'm going to tell you something. I'll walk the feet of the man of God. Watch the dust off His feet for His walk for our behalf. Yes. Right. At times we feel like He's getting on our case. I know that. He's supposed to. We're stupid if we think otherwise. Right. It's His job. But I'm going to tell you, their feet get dusty. And the devil comes along and tries to hurt them. But we want to feed the dust off the feet of the men of God. They're, they're men that stood and prayed and fought to be where you are for us. And I don't want to forget that. I want you men to know I love you. And I appreciate you. And we stand behind you. Brother Gordon, you're not in the shadows. Jim, you're definitely not in the shadows. We know what you do. And you know what? Sometimes the tongues get tired. And you know what has to happen? I'll get over and help you. Yeah. And we'll just help one another. Yeah. And we'll pile in here. If all of us come up here and stand, we just help hold each other. Yeah. I just felt like I need to say that this morning. Let them know. Keep fighting. Keep going. We know you keep things pretty good. I know sometimes you have to. But we know you're fighting. And we're going to help you. Amen. 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 Am